Welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Oh, well, welcome back. Yone, and this is Brian, and we are doing ghost tricks. And yeah, many so of them, lots of them, many ghost tricks involved. We're going ghost, 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 trick, trick, trick. We just found Camila out of nowhere in the trunk, and the entire time she's been in here, don't know she's alive and not vomiting all over herself. She's fine. She's reading a book. Yes, she's and, good. Um, and we're here to try and like see what these guys are up to, and let's get into it. Mm. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well, hmm? What about me? Mm, I am so fun. hot and beautiful, why don't you treat, treat me better? You well. I'd like some bread and milk, please. Ooh, this sounds <laughs> lovely. Oh, <that's> some. <laughs> At your service, my dear, I'll be back in a flash. Cool. And you? Hey, mister. Ooh. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, little dears. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Well, I mean, at least he's a nice gentleman. Don't say those awful things about this house! Hmm? This house is where I used to live. What? Bum, bum, bum. Wh why? What? 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 That's so specific. Vavat, how does she know? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who is miserable and filthy. Forgive me. How did they find this abandoned home to just burst into and it happens to be in her house? What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at the girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, mm. Ooh, I see. It's very purposeful. It's been empty for five years and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my blood and milk? Oh, of course. And now you be a good girl while I'm gone. I'm glad it's not entirely coincidental. I mean, that would be really weird. That would be very strange. So we're at our old house. You just read your book and drink your juice. But if s I want to go home. You are home. <laughs> you are home. Not quite yet. Oh, okay, she's just casually going back to reading the book. <laughs> the dilapidated old place was Camila's old house. What's going on here? Trick time! Can we? Wait, why? Why can we talk to Camila? What in the world? Did she die? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. It also means someone saved her. Someone else must have saved her. What is going on? There's another on? ghost running around. I better ask what happened. What Let's happened? ask her. Camila. What happened? What Camila, happened? What Camila, happened? Camila, 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 Camila. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile. I'm sorry. I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Close enough though, right? Am I a good replacement? Missile, Sissel. Sissel. My name is Camila. Camila. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing is... This is the land of the dead. I can hear your thoughts though, you know. Oh yeah. Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no <laughs> secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute, maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? Looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well, hmm. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure! Go ahead, sissy! <laughs> sissy, eh? Ahem. So somebody does call him sissy! Oh, God. <laughs> Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Wait. She didn't really ask who he is and why he's here. Nope, she did she's not. She's just kind of divulging. That's how you get kidnapped, Camila. <laughs> and like, he's asking very specific details about her traveling right now. Yeah. And Lawless. She's like, I trust you. Okay. Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? 
Thameslik Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Isn't that... Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temzik Park, huh? What am I gonna do? Lynn's gonna be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right. The music box. We need it back. Camila, how could you do this to Dana, us? Dana, hit that thing. Dana, flip that board. Flip that board. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. It was totally all me. Wow. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> where? I'll pretend I don't know. I can hear your thoughts, you know. <laughs> you don't have to humor me. <laughs> Oops. Huh. So, what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. All right, that's the thing. We gotta let her know. This is your old house? It's gross and dilapidated and has weird stuff uh, in it. Uh, yep, uh, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. <gasps> is he the justice minister? Um, my father is gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad, he's going to die. And it's all because of me. Bum, bum, bum! Oh, no! What, what, what? What do you mean, because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is... A detective. <gasps> bum, bum, bum! No, no, no way! Yes! Don't tell me your father is De Detective Jowd? Ah! Uh, uh, that's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. Ooh. Flip that over, Vanna. This is Detective Jout's daughter! Ooh. It was mom's birthday that day. And he murdered her. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And you watched the murder. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. By murdering her. I set up that contraption. <gasps> Ooh. She did murder her. Let's see. I'm home, Camila. Why is it dark? Whoa, the notes were a little different. Oh! A uh, no! Yikes. Well, why'd she set up that contraption? Let's see. What's that noise? Oh no, I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that! Hmm, I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake, a birthday message. Oh, this is so sad. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is all so unbelievably tragic. Oh. Yeah, that's sad. I don't know who's talking. I think it's I Sizzle? I can't believe it. The little yeah. lady detective is Detective Jowd's daughter. That's so mm. sad. A 
I just can't tell her. Wait, don't tell. No. I can't tell her why she don't was kidnapped. Don't say it in your head. Don't say it in I your head. I can't tell why her why. Why was I kidnapped? I, I want to know. Oops. <laughs> there are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking before I say that she was kidnapped so that Detective Jowd gets killed. Yeah. Sissy. You're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm gonna rescue you now. Just hold on a little longer, all right? <sighs> okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promise, sissy! Ooh. He took the fall for he her! He took the fall for her! That's so sad, but why would he ask to be executed? He, he asked for that. He could have opted to not be executed so he could stay with his daughter and not leave her alone for the rest of her life. Mm, that's sad. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my Did dear. Did you go to the local 7-Eleven? I like that place. Uh, mm, oui. place <laughs> and all the shops have closed. You buffoon, we're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, where are we supposed to meet him here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Hmm, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. Oh! I can't, it can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you my sixth sense is very strong. Cool. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. <gasps> She's looking straight at us. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The so next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Hmm. <gasps> Gasp! Damn. Ooh, girl! Wow, she is almost um, taller than the door. All right, we're leaving. Damn. Ooh, girl! Uh, pardon me, this was 80. Huh. Ah, her book! Oh, he's gonna leave it. I thought you wanted to keep her entertained. Oh, so sad. She didn't get to read her book. Oh no, that's the most tragic part of this night. Not that's anything the about her backstory. Part of everything. Of yeah. This whole entire game. Entire game. Her not she getting to read her to book. Read book it's the saddest thing ever. Oh he. Oh he was in the book. Oh no, they left it. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone, alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. Oh, this is so sad. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a. Few few new facts. A very few. <laughs> okay, take it slow, take it slow, take it slow. You can do it, you can do it. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? Does she? I wonder. This I would so say sad. yeah, but she knows. One of the other things stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. The sum of that kidnapper's final words. <laughs> do those two know? Do those kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Do they? Do they really sense my presence? Do they really sense my presence? Like she doesn't... I mean, I, I off, obviously give off a big presence, you know, because yeah. I'm just so <gasps> amazing. Saving. So... If you save, you'll never <laughs> oh get arrested. <laughs> Are you just gonna make up like increasingly <laughs> outrageous facts every time the save it's option true. comes it's up? It's all true, it's all true. <laughs> Here we go, next segment. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camila. Not the minister's daughter. How would they have possibly, like, who gave them this information? Who misinformed them? Right? When I got back to the justice minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated, the, the devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. She's fiery. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Ugh! You listen to me here, you uh, old terrier. Oh, God. I told Lynn a... I told Lynn what it... I told Lynn what I I told Lynn what I had found out about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the justice minister's daughter who had been abducted. Tell the other guy. Yeah, I know. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camila's old house. And they sensed my presence and were already gone. 
But Camila? Why do they have Camila? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. Jeez. I think this stupid old part <laughs> is a little uncalled for. No, he's stupid and old. Looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl. Kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. The cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up on the... In the and using Camila's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence. And then sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, Detective. <laughs> I want you to stand back. Don't stand near me. You're spinning all over my beautiful mustache. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister. It wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend like you didn't hear what we were saying. So as long as you're in range with, you with if someone with a core, yeah. Ah! How could I believe in you? I'm a realist. Ah, please! If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It's... Complicated. You wouldn't understand a young thing like you. <laughs> Why does life have to be such a complicated thing? Why does everything gotta be, be so, so complicated? complicated. <laughs> I see the way. Okay. No, no. But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. I mean, your wife hates you, so if she's not answering, it's totally normal. That's normal, yeah. <laughs> I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What's the difference does it make if it's not my real daughter? That's nice of him. <gasps> oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. Wooey, that's quite a pickle. Mr. Minister, quite a pickle. Hager. Hager. How, wait, is the entrance on the right side? How Hager. else would it be up here? I thought it was on the Missed left. Miss me, baby. Maybe he came in through the window. Inspector Cabanella. Yeah, he just crashed through. Yeah. Thank you for showing me your legs. Thank ooh, you. Th leg. Oh, he's like oh, shaking my... some ants off ah, or something. Ooh. Like, oh, ah, itchy. Yeah. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Ooh, Ta-da! Wow. Oh my God. He could bend just as well. There you go. All these flexible people in this game. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him. What? So here he is. He brought Jout here. Why? Everyone's has red in their outfit. Ooh, except this guy. Except him. No, he does. Jowd? Catch oh, up. yeah. Detective Jowd? Detective Jowd? I'm so sorry. I tried. Nope. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. <sighs> okay, who are we conversing? They're, oh, wait, are we just gonna listen to their conversation or? I guess so. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Chowd could never have done such a thing. Oh, <laughs> oh come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty and two, he tried to escape. What else can I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons? Ooh. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? 
everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. I that's think that's Jud, yeah. But Detective Jowd! It's a death row inmate. I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But! but... <sighs> oh, man! Ghost. Let's uh, break up this awkward conversation in the next episode, huh? Man, that's crazy! Ooh, yeah, everything's really coming to a head right now. I mean... I'm glad he wanted to brag because at least Stroud's alive for a little longer or not in captivity for a little longer. Yeah, that's true. I mean, um, he's here. He's alive, he's here. Everyone's kind of together. Oh man, I don't know what we're gonna do from here. I kind, I actually secretly do, but I'm <laughs> gonna say I don't know what I we're don't gonna, know do, what from we're gonna do from here. And how are we gonna, I keep thinking that like at the end of this game, we're gonna come back to life. Like, oh, as mm -hmm. Sissel. Like, someone will go, but it's already been past four minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, I don't think it's going to be possible. We'll but see. We'll see. All right. We have a lot of very important figures in the room right now. Yeah. So, let's see how it plays out. Like, yes. Yes. We'll see you next time. This is Axis. This is Brian. Over, Over and out. out.